welcome to day four of Vlogmas. Today I start school back up, so that's where I'm currently headed right now. Um, we have a lot planned today. I have to do six classes per usual. And then after school I have to stay and practice band stuff. And then we have the Christmas parade at seven, which is fun. There's a lot today I just don't want to do just because I got back from break. But I have my caramel iced cold brew with vanilla almond milk and sugar. Let's do the first sip. That's good. That's really good. I've never had caramel coffee before, but that was pretty nice. I am almost at school, so I don't think I'm going to feel much at school just because that's really embarrassing, even though they know I'm doing this. Oh my gosh, so last night I had the, wasn't the weirdest dream. I'm just afraid I'm manifesting something, but um, on Monday and Tuesday of last week before we got out for Thanksgiving on Wednesday, we had a test in my mobile class, and I had a dream last night that I got it back and I failed it. And, you know, I wouldn't be shocked if that had happened. I felt prepared for the test, but it was kind of scary. But knowing me and my manifestation era, I'm afraid it was coming true. But I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted. I got a 98. Five, yeah? Okay? We can label it as... First number? Okay, I'm leaving Gov School and headed to my home high school. I'm so freaking tired. I listened to Shake It Off and I woke myself up, but please don't look at me because I look terrible right now and I feel so stressed because I had a reality check this morning that my exams start next week and that is frightening to me. Going to my home high school, all I have to do there is take band and then government, which is both really easy classes, and then the parade, and then I'm done for the day and I get to go home and I cannot wait. I don't wanna do, it's not that I don't wanna do the parade today because it's my last Christmas parade ever to be involved in, but just, I have a lot of work to do, I have a lot of scholarships to finish, and I just don't know when I'm going to do them. And that's the struggle I've been having recently, is just finding a time to do something. That's kind of my little rant today. After the parade, I'll probably answer some more questions, because I got a couple last night after I'd already finished recording, and a couple this morning. So yeah, oh my god, this truck is going so slow. Getting over and passing him. Bye, guys. The notes are off, but I know a lot of you were not here. So, finish the notes. Oh, it's a kitty. Hi, Vlogmas. Vlogmas. Like, you're sitting there for 12 hours. And you're like, no, she's not going to be with you. Do you want to try the whole thing? Until like a couple weeks ago. So she has behavioral issues. Can you bring me another cat? It is Christmas parade time. I got me sparkly hat, my cat sweater from Black Friday, my papers and my marching shoes, and I am excited and I'm ready to go. Yeah. Jessica, are you excited? Yes. Violet, are you excited? Yes. 
Sierra, are you excited? Wait, it's your last parade. I know. What did you get in? What did you get in? And mom and dad can only wait for school to start again. Sarah, it's our last um, parade. It is. Actually, is it your last? No, I have one more. She has one Sunday. more. Sunday. Sunday's my but last. But it's my last parade. I think it's like so sad. It's our last parade together. As a married couple. As a married couple with our five kids. Their five children. I just finished the Christmas parade and um, it's kind of sad because that was the last thing I'm doing with my full band and so now it's just done and I don't know, I don't know what to do. I'm grateful for the time it gave me, I'm grateful for the opportunities it let me fulfill. I'm proud of the leadership skills I've learned from it. and. It was just a great overall experience. You build a sense of community and family that I don't think I would ever have ever again after this. And so I'm so grateful I got to meet the people I did over these past five years of doing it. So if any of you guys who are in it, in the band ever with me are watching, thank you so much for being a great part of my life. Alrighty, I am back answering more of your questions from Send It. I don't have a lot today. The two that don't have the check mark I looked at beforehand and didn't answer, but we've got a couple today, so let's answer. The first question is, will you do a day in the life of Caden Lyle? Well, I think that's what I'm doing this vlogmas, so I'm glad I get to do that for you. Biggest red flags in a guy. That's the next question. Biggest red flags in a guy. I think my biggest red flags for a guy is when they are committing to you, but then also have other people on the side. The next question is, you like Marvel? my answer I love Marvel I just went and saw the Marvels and I thought it was a great movie everyone for some reason hates it and I would give it a solid rating just cuz like I feel like men just don't want to see women in power and honestly it was amazing and women in power is awesome so yeah the next question I have not opened these you saw that this question is, why are you so judgmental-like? Um, now, this question kind of doesn't upset me, but it kind of hurts my feelings. Just because, like, I don't try to be judgmental. And if I am to you, and if I come off judgmental towards you, I am so, so, so sorry. And please call me out on it. Because that is not the type of person I want to be. That's not the type of stuff I want to be sharing out to the world. I want to be a positive person, not someone that's, you know, judgy towards others. I try and be friends with everyone I can, everyone I meet. I try to find some sort of connection between us so that we can bond. So yeah, I'm so sorry that you feel that way, but I try not to be judgmental, though it is hard sometimes. The next question, how did you get to be so smart? Um, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> it just kind of happens in people. Some people learn better than others, and I'm lucky to be someone that learns quickly and just understands the stuff I'm given. I am definitely not the smartest person alive. I have seen other people that wow me. That's why I love going to Gov School, because there's so many kids there that are way better than me that I honestly look up to and am inspired by thank you for asking next question what college do you want to go to 
Um, I only applied to three. My first choice being Virginia Tech, my second choice UVA, and my third choice JMU. Thank you for asking. Um, next question. Tips slash life advice? Question mark. This is similar to a question yesterday where just be yourself. Don't try and be fake for other people to get them to like you because in the end they're going to find out who you really are and that's going to upset you more. And also, if they won't like you for you, then they're not worth it. So, yeah. That's all the questions I have for today. So thank you for showing up today and watching. And I love you all so much. And good night. Avery, you've done it again. I love you, girl. Thanks for commenting. As I'm editing this, I also got another comment from Justina Morales. And I just want to say thank you so much for commenting. That really means a lot from me and my little kitty. Thank you so much.